all are safe and healthy at home. Today I'm going to talk something very interesting to you and I'm sure you will love the content that we are going to discuss today and the story that we are going to read. Why I'm telling that you're going to enjoy is that you all are very curious about mysterious things, isn't it? You always want to know that is strange and you know that is mysterious and you always uh, like trying out adventures, doing new things, isn't it? And I know that you all love watching mysterious movies and detective serials, right? Let me ask you a question to you. How many of you watch CIB, Southern India, or crime patrol uh, or the television. I hope many of you must be very curiously watching all these series because it might interest you as uh, all these serials are concerned with detectives. Now let me tell you who a detective is. A detective is a person, maybe a police official, whose occupation is to investigate and solve crimes. So the children, something mysterious happens, somebody has killed somebody and the police is not able to find out the culprit, the criminal, okay, you might have uh, observed or you know enjoyed these detective serials on the television which you know talks about uh, many times real stories too that uh, happen in different parts of our country. There are several movies uh, which are based on uh, the cleverness of detectives. Okay? So you might have uh, heard this word detective as you uh, might have watched uh, as I told you many of these uh, serials which are related to crimes and the role of detectives in solving those mysteries. Children I hope you are uh, you know more curious to know what we are going to learn today. So children, we are going to learn a story, expert detectives and here detectives are not somebody, you know, who is uh, a tall and giant personality, okay, uh, 40 years or 50 years old people who are detectives here, okay, uh, looking very serious. Here we have a 7 year old and a 10 year old uh, child, okay, both are uh, siblings, they are brother and sister. So why they have been called detectives, okay, what are the mysteries that they have been trying to solve, okay. Children, you might have also tried to act as detectives many a times in school or uh, in your neighborhood, okay, to know about people, strange people. And you do ask a lot of questions, isn't it? You might ask your parents, Mama, why does this uncle come to that house very often? Why does he look so strange? Why does that uncle not talk to anyone else in the uh, neighborhood? Why is this behavior different from others? Isn't it? So you have a lot of questions in your mind when you see strange people. So let's find out what happens in this story. The expert detectives. Okay? And children, this story has been uh, written by Sharada. 
Now before we move on actually to the lesson, let's try to understand the characters. The story is expert detectives. Now the main characters are Mr. Nath. Okay. Now he is a mysterious character in this story. Okay. He is the person uh, around whom the story revolves. Then you have Nishar. Okay. Who is seven years old. And you know children, the funny part is Nishad is also called as Seven. Okay. As his name Nishad has been formed out of the musical note. Okay. So he is called as Seven. Right. Then you have Maya. Maya is ten years old and she is Nishad's sister. Okay. Then you have Ramesh. Now, Ramesh uh, is a boy uh, who used to bring food for Mr. Nath from a restaurant. So, Ramesh uh, used to work uh, uh, in a restaurant and he used to bring food for Mr. Nath. And then you have children. A strange visitor. Okay. So, this strange visitor used to visit Mr. Nath. Probably on Sundays. And his appearance was strange. And his behavior was also quite different from Mr. Nath. So children, I am sure you are now familiar with the characters of this story. So, please fasten your seat belts. We are going to enjoy reading this detective story, Expert Detectives. Now let's move on to the lesson. Please look into your textbook very carefully. And if you don't have a textbook, please look at your screen. Expert detectives. Children, you can see the picture of a person. Detectives are often very curious, very serious and they, their eyes often search for proofs. Right? So they, they have a very uh, attentive ear and you know a watchful eye. So they observe things very carefully. And they solve mysterious cases. Okay. So now let's see what happens in this story. Today we are going to learn the first part. There are two parts of the story. So today we will try to understand the first part children. As we walked back towards the clinic, Seven said, He doesn't look anything like a monster. Maya. But did you see how thin he is? So the siblings were walking back to the clinic. Let me tell you children, you can see uh, in the picture Maya and Nishad, the characters of this story. Now there is a word slashed away. Slashed away means hidden away, to hide. Okay. Now these two children, their mother is a doctor. And she works in a clinic. She examines patients there. So these two children uh, walked back towards the clinic. And as they walked back, they were talking to each other. And Seven, as I told you children, Nishad was called Seven. Okay. So what did he say? Maya was quite, uh, you know, children, suspicious. So as I told you, Mr. Nath is the main character. Uh, around whom the story revolves. So, 
Maya was always suspicious about this character, Mr. Nath. Okay. And maybe she might have told that he looks like a monster. And seven, that is Nishad, did not agree with Maya. And he said that no, he doesn't look like a monster. Instead, uh, Nishad felt that, you know, Mr. Nath looked very thin. And he felt maybe he is very poor and he did not have food to eat. He can't be poor. He is a crook on the run. I told him. He has probably got millions of rupees slashed away somewhere in that room. Do you really think he is a criminal? Maya, he doesn't look like one. Nishat looked doubtful. Of course, he is one. Seven, I said. And he certainly isn't starving. Mr. Mato told us that Ramesh brings his meals up from the restaurant downstairs. Now, children, Ramesh uh, was a boy who worked at the restaurant, I told you. And here, uh, Nishant is trying to tell Maya that, you know, Mr. Nath looks very thin and maybe he's starving. Okay. Uh, maybe he's not getting proper food to eat. But Maya does not agree with Nishad. As I told you, she was very suspicious. She doubted. And she has been observing Mr. Nath. So she said, uh, he cannot be poor. And she doubts that he is a crook. Crook here means children, criminal. A person who is involved in crimes. So she doubts that Mr. Nath is a criminal. And she says that maybe he has stashed, stashed here means children, he has hidden millions of rupees somewhere in that room. So Maya thinks that Mr. Nath has hidden, you know, billions of rupees in his room and he is a criminal. But uh, Nishad doesn't agree. He says no. Nishad was doubtful about Maya's thoughts. He did not agree with Maya. Okay. But Maya says, of course, he is certainly a crook, a criminal. Okay. And she says, uh, he is not uh, starving, I know. Children here, starve means, you know, to suffer or sometimes die because you don't have enough food to eat. When you don't have food to eat, you starve. Okay, so Maya said he is not starving because Ramesh, uh, the boy who works in the restaurant, brings food for him every day. And this information she had got from Mr. Mehta. Mr. Mehta told him that, you know, Ramesh brings food for Mr. Nath every day. So, uh, it's quite clear that he was not starving. Okay, now let's move forward and see what happens. But Maya, Mr. Mehta told, told us he doesn't work anywhere. So, how can he possibly have money to buy uh, food or pay for food? Nisha said. Exactly, I exclaimed. He must have lots of money hidden somewhere. Maybe in that trunk in his room. It's probably full of silver and gold and jewels. And what rubbish? Nishab interrupted. I know I am right, stupid. I told him. By the way, Seven, did you see his scars? I couldn't. Uh, it was too dark. But I bet he got them during a shootout with the police or something. Mummy told us quite clearly they were burn scars. Nishab said firmly. Now here again, both of them are arguing about uh, the behavior and lifestyle of Mr. Nath. Now, you know, Nishad said, uh, Mr. Mehta had told them that Mr. Nath doesn't work anywhere. He is at home all the time. He doesn't go out to work. So from where will he get, uh, you know, money to pay for food? Nishad was really worried about that. Maya said, maybe he has hidden lots of money in a trunk, a big box. 
okay maybe uh, he might have hidden gold silver and jewels but nisha did not agree children his thoughts were different from maya okay but maya tried to prove that she was right and she said did you observe the scars okay some mark children scar uh, scars are marks on your body okay it could be because of accident it could be because of fire it could be because of uh, you know getting injured okay so she asked rishar if he had observed those scars on his body and uh, what did she believe she believed that maybe uh, as she thinks uh, he was a criminal uh, the police might have tried to shoot him and uh, he might have tried to escape from the police and that is how he has got those scars uh, on his body but nisha tries to tell her that their mummy had told them that those were burn scars children when you get burnt also there are scar marks uh, scars on your uh, body so nisha was sure that uh, those were uh, burn scars okay now let's see perhaps the police had set his house on fire to force him out i suggested seven looked unsure on the monday following mama's birthday seven went alone uh, with her to the clinic at hirgaon as i was spending the evening with a school friend when they returned nisha told me he had been to see mr nar and i felt most annoyed that i hadn't been there children uh, maya tries to tell nisha that maybe the police had set his house on fire you know so that he comes out of his house to find him out to get him maybe in that way uh, he might have had burn scars and then children it was monday and it was their mama's birthday okay and seven mr nisha children if you remember seven is the name of nisha okay so seven you know went to the clinic with his mom the clinic was at hirgaon and maya was at home uh, she spent time with her school friend so maybe she went to see her school friend and she spent some time in the evening when both of them came back nisha told that uh, you know nisha had been to mr nar uh, and maya got annoyed because she was collecting a lot of information about mr nar so she also wanted to go and see so now because uh, nisha went there alone uh, she could not go so she felt very bad children here gaunt means sickly okay yes see what happens next seven had been quite upset about mr nar's gaunt appearance gaunt here means sickly appearance you know he appeared very sick so nisha also told maya that he had gone to mr nar's house knocked at his door and asked him to open the door quickly and mr nar came out and opened the door and you know so then what did he ask him lost another marble so what happens usually children play with marbles and they lose their marbles and you know the marbles roll down here and there and it used to go into mr nar's house and they used to go and get back their marbles from there so this time when nisha went there and knocked at the door uh, mr nar asked lost another marble he had obviously uh, recognized my brother no said nisha he had taken the man's hand in his own and thrust a bar of chocolate into it so maya says maybe mr nar had recognized uh, her brother okay this boy has again lost his marbles and he has come to find out his marbles uh, but nisha told him that no i have not lost my marbles but uh, you know what did he do instead children he took out 
uh, a bar of chocolate and gave it to Mr. Not as it was his mother's birthday. Did you get a chance to pay into the trunk? Seven, I asked. Nishad looked disappointed. He didn't even ask me in, he said. Uh, then he smiled, but I did find out something wild. I went down to the restaurant where Ramesh works and talked to him. Good for you, Mr. Detective, I said, patting him on the back. I hope you questioned him properly. He here means to look quickly and secretively. And detective, I told you children, a person uh, who is a police, maybe by profession, and who tries to solve uh, crimes. They investigate and try to solve crimes. So when Maya heard that uh, Nishad went and met Mr. Nath, so she asked him, no. Did you get an opportunity to look into his trunk? So Nishad said, that person did not allow me inside his, inside his house. Okay. So it was not possible for him to look at the trunk. But he gave an interesting news to Maya and said that I went down to the restaurant where Ramesh worked and tried to collect some information from him. And Maya ensures that, uh, you know, Nishad had questioned him properly. Maya was very curious about collecting a lot of information about Mr. Nath. Seven looked pleased. Ramesh told me that he takes two meals for Mr. Nath every morning and evening. And two cups of tea. One in the morning and one in the afternoon. Ramesh says he is not very particular about what he eats, it's always the same food. Two chapatis, some dal and a vegetable. Mr. Nath pays cash and tips well. Tips well children here means uh, to give generously, okay, to give money, uh, to make the person happy. You might have gone to restaurants with your parents and your parents might uh, have given tips to the waiters there. You might have observed this children. So, Ramesh told me something very strange, Maya. Seven added. Almost every Sunday he carries two lunches to Mr. Nath's room and the same man is with him each time. He is tall, fair, stout and wears spectacles. Ramesh says his visitor talks a lot, unlike Mr. Nath who hardly speaks. Now he tries to give the information that he had got from Ramesh about Mr. Nath. And Ramesh used to take meals for him in the morning and in the evening and two cups of tea and said that Mr. Nath had very simple food. It was a chapati, some dal and a vegetable. And uh, Ramesh also told that Mr. Nath used to pay him isn't it pay the cash for the meals and also gave him tips and also he got another interesting information children that was every Sunday a stranger visited Mr. Nath and the stranger has been described here tall, fair, stout and he wore spectacles and Mr. Nath spoke very less children he was no, not very talkative. He did not speak much, whereas the stranger was very talkative and he talked a lot. So, this was the information uh, which uh, Nishad gave. Okay, children. So, uh, then what happened? You know, it started raining very heavily the next day and as it rained very heavily unexpectedly the children got holiday okay so they did not go to school so well done Nisha I told him now that we have made some progress with our inquiries we, we will have to sort out all the facts like expert detectives so that we can trap the crew 
How you do on? How do you do that, Maya? Said inside. How can you possibly imagine he is a crook? He looks so ordinary. Criminals can look quite ordinary, smartly. I retorted. Did you see the picture of the Hyderabadi housebreaker in the papers yesterday? He looks like any man on the street. Nishad looked doubtful. Children here sought out meets arranged systematically. And crook here means a criminal. Now Maya was very happy that uh, Nishad had collected some information from Ramesh. Because she was collecting information about Mr. Nath and she thought he was a criminal. He was a crook. But Seven did not agree. He was quite doubtful about Maya's opinions of Mr. Nath. And he tried to tell Maya that how can you say that he is a criminal? He looks so ordinary. He is a simple man. So Maya gave him an example. She said, didn't you see yesterday's newspaper? There was the news of a Hyderabadi housebreaker who broke into someone's house. He also looked very ordinary. Children, but still Nishad did not believe whatever Maya said about Mr. Nath. How do you go on Maya? Seven side. Okay. How can you possibly imagine he is a crook? He looks so ordinary. Okay. Criminals can look quite ordinary. Smartly, I retorted. Did you see the picture of the Hyderabadi housebreaker in the papers yesterday? He also looks very ordinary. So she gives this example of the news that had appeared in the newspaper of a Hyderabadi uh, housebreaker. The monsoons broke the next day. Dark clouds accompanied by blinding flashes of lightning and roaring roads of thunder burst with all their fury, flooding the streets with a heavy downpour. School was to have reopened after the summer holidays. But no traffic could move through the flooded roads and there was an unexpected holiday. Okay? So children, uh, you know, Nisha keeps on telling Maya that how can you say that uh, Mr. Nab is a criminal? You should not talk about uh, somebody like this. But Maya again gave Nishad, the example of the Hyderabadi housebreaker who looked very ordinary. But he had broken into someone's house and stolen things. Okay. So now children, the next day school was about to reopen after holidays. But suddenly the weather became, you know, very bad and it started raining very heavily. The roads were flooded and so they had an unexpected holiday. Okay. I thought I would spend the time useful. I sat at my desk in our bedroom with a sheet of paper before. Maya was very happy that it was a holiday the next day. So she thought she should spend the holiday very usefully. So now... What was Maya interested in doing children, we all know. She was very busy collecting information about Mr. Nath. And so she thought this was the best time for her to note down all the observations she had made about Mr. Nath on a sheet of paper. So she, you know, sat on her desk with a sheet of paper and she thought, she would note down all the points, all the facts about Mr. Nath, uh, her observations about him, okay? So that she could prove that Mr. Nath was a criminal. So children, uh, today we'll stop here as this is the first part of the story. And we'll try to continue the story in our 
next class but till we meet in the next class you must read the story very carefully children the first part uh, that we have learned today about the characters okay and also please look at the difficult words some of the meanings are given in your textbook and of course you must refer to a dictionary to find out the meanings of new words that you come across while you read okay and you know the story is becoming more and more suspicious isn't it there is suspense in the story so you all must wait till the next class uh, when we try to find out what happened exactly and these two uh, little experts expert detectives maya and nishar of course uh, maya is more of a detective isn't it she is suspicious about mr nath and she observes him very carefully and tries to come to conclusion that he is a criminal whereas nishad does not agree with maya but children he helps him with a lot of information uh, he had collected information from ramesh and then he helps her you know uh, in collecting all those information about mr nath so happy reading see you in the next class bye bye